Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am thrilled to be here with you today. This video has been maybe two months in the making. As many of you know, I went through the passing of my beloved father-in-law and then my son got married. And basically about two months ago, I shot this video with a wonderful PT slash certified Pilates instructor named Donna Gambino. And she was fabulous. And in fact, we shot our video on Zoom and it was so great. And I really want you to know more in depth what Donna said during that conversation we had. And so I'm going to do a second video, which is strictly the entire interview I had with Donna. Because if you're an aging woman as I am, posture is super, super important. Not only does it help us look thinner, like here we go, this posture, which is what my mother has at 85, even though she's been working out with a trainer three times a week, but she has not been paying particular attention to her posture. And this is what we get over the years, ladies, uh, versus this, which is how we really want to look. And as women, we want to take up our space in the world. And Donna mentions this in the interview, and I think it's so interesting that we as older women sometimes neglect our posture because inside we don't feel very good. As women, we start to feel like we're, we're losing our vibrancy and stuff. And we kind of almost like a wilted flower. <laughs> we start going down. It's sad. We don't want to feel that way. So lifting ourselves back up just creates that confidence and a, a feeling of like you still have something to say <laughs> that there's really like a, you still have a strong voice, you know, and down here, where is your voice going to be? It's going to be quiet and meek and you're not going to feel like you have anything worthy to say, but here you're like, I'm powerful. And so really we do want to be powerful and take up our space in the world. We want to look thinner and more importantly, we want to keep our health excellent all through our lives. And how I found out about Donna Gambino and her expertise in the posture and alignment area is actually kind of funny. She actually made a comment in one of my workout videos, and I thought I had good posture before. And she said I was slumping forward. Makes sense. And I did not know that I was you know, slumping. So I am so glad you told me that. I always tell people, think of there being a big red bow tied right here. You got a scarf right. around you. In fact, I took a picture of myself from my blog and tied a big scarf there. If that stays like that, you can work out till you're blue in the face. It's not going to change until we untie this. And as many of you may know, I have osteopenia, which is just the very beginnings of osteoporosis. And apparently weight training can really have a positive impact on that and keep your bones strong and keep them healthy and keep you from developing osteopenia. And apparently, according to Donna, not only can good posture help with osteopenia, it has a lot of other health benefits as well. And the benefits of training yourself into good posture are pretty great, aren't they? Yeah. What are some of the benefits of? Well, one, that neutral spine. It all goes back to that. It, your bones are meant to weight bear in a certain position. And when you fall either in front of or behind that kind of plumb line that I look at when I eyeball you, whenever you fall in front of it, the bones are taking stress where they're not meant to take stress. So then they start to wear out. Just like when your steering's off on your car, so I call it the target grocery cart, you know, syndrome. When you get that cart and that one wheel is stuck and then the other one is loose and you get this constant force, that's what your body experiences when you're not in good posture because right. certain muscles are strong and pulling and other ones are lengthened and weak and you get this kind of almost torque through the body. So then you get the wear and tear on the bones, all right? Then you, the tendons and, and everything that attaches there. You know, like I said, balance is affected, breathing is affected. The good benefits of posture just go on and on. Basically, it improves our muscle strength. It prevents rotator cuff injuries in the future. And Donna has said that she's had many of her patients who have rotator cuff surgery, which could have been totally avoided if they learned good posture techniques. It also improves your balance and stability. And ladies, as we get older, our balance is a life and death issue because a lot of people fall, they break a hip, and like something like 50% of women are dead after breaking a hip. So it's very important that we keep strong and keep good balance so we don't fall. Another thing, it of course helps us maintain posture and look like we've lost 10 pounds. It helps us maintain flexibility and it helps us feel more confident too, which is always wonderful. And ladies, as we get older, let's not let society tell us that our voices don't need to be heard. And let's not do this and think small. Let's stand up for ourselves, put our shoulders back, and be proud of the wisdom that we have to offer because we really do have wisdom. And let's be proud and show that. Now, in just a few moments, I'm going to be showing you Donna's seven-step exercise to good posture. 
and I have been doing these exercises for the past six weeks and I really think it is helping. And there are definitely times throughout the day when I think, oh, I better get my shoulders back. And one thing Donna said that was very interesting is she said, yes, you have to do the exercises. And these exercises I'm going to show you take about six to seven weeks before your body really catches onto it and really starts naturally giving you good posture. And that is one part of it is to do these exercises on an ongoing basis. But even more than that, all throughout the day, we need to really remember to keep our shoulders back and to keep our neck up. And like if we're on a computer, to try to raise that computer or just to think in terms of good posture at all times. Donna Gambino says that exercise is about 20% of the equation, but 80% of the equation is just our awareness all throughout the day to keep ourselves in good alignment. Now, in just a few moments, I'll be showing you those exercises. And I do want to say that Donna has given all of you lovely viewers a wonderful gift today, and that is one free session with her. And that is a group session, and there are several different types of sessions. I think posture is one, Pilates is another, because she has an online business where she teaches women Pilates, posture, good PT type things, because she is both a licensed physical therapist and a certified Pilates instructor, but she is giving my viewers, my lovely viewers out there in the 50 plus beauty family, she is giving each of you a free visit and the information and the code to receive that visit is below this video, so please check that out. Also, Donna has written three books. Here is one of them, On a Roll at Home. She sent this to me and it is fabulous. It is just a lot of different exercises for various things and it is absolutely wonderful, On a Roll at Home. And many of the exercises we'll be doing today are right out of this book. And then the second book is Age Perfected Pilates. And she says that as we age, if we want to have good alignment and have a wonderfully strong core and be totally slender, the way to do that is Pilates. And I already do weight training and I do some yoga, but I am going to start paying attention to Pilates because as I get older, I really want to maintain my good skeletal alignment, keep my posture strong and have a good core. So anyway, those are her books and I'll link them below. And they're in a format to where they have this sort of a binding to where you can be doing your exercises and put them flat out on the floor. They're absolutely wonderful in that way. And before I get into showing you the exercises, I did want to point out the fitness wear that I'm wearing. And this is from YvetteSports.com and here it is. And this is fitness wear for those of us who are not in the perfect shape, which, you know, all of my viewers out there are mostly mature women and I totally get that. But this is kind of fitness shapewear and it is fabulous. I'll show you the back. It is super, super cute in the back. Isn't that just darling? And it is sports bras of all different types, colors, although I prefer black because I think it's slimming. It is sports bras, it is wonderful fitness wear pants. I guess these are leggings, but they pull you in and make you feel more slender, which is wonderful. And I will be doing a dedicated Yvette sportswear haul coming up so you can see the wonderful outfits that they offer. And if you're curious about that now, I've put a link to Yvette Sports below the video. Okay, let's get into these exercises. Okay, here are Donna's seven exercises. And I will say that if you're a first timer to these exercises, they feel absolutely wonderful. And for them, at the very least, you'll need one of these hard foam rollers. And I put a link to that below. And this is optional, but it's a little fitness ball, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. However, if you're just starting out, you can really just use the foam roller. The first exercise for your posture is just a rest exercise. So you just put the roller this way and you sit on the very edge of it. I know this is awkward, ladies, but anyway, sit at the edge of it. And then you're just going to lie down on that roller with your head on the roller. And then you just Put your hands down beside you, face your palms together, and you're just going to rest here. And it just feels so good. You rest here for one to two minutes, and that is just to stretch out those shoulders and get them used to the feeling of going back. Because if you have not done these exercises, and if you're a little more mature, as most of us here are, even without realizing it, your shoulders are moving forward. And while I'm resting, I will tell you that I came upon Donna because she actually made a comment during one of my workout videos that I was hunched forward. And Donna, I am so happy that you reached out to me because it's led to a whole new level of fitness for me 
because I realized that it's not just weights and aerobics, it's also posture and it's super important. So again, you just rest here for one to two minutes. This next exercise is really just a stretch and it is called Snow Angel and it is really like the snow angels we made as a kid out in the snow. Not quite so widespread, but you just put your arms up here and then bring it down to where you're comfortable, kind of in a snow angel. And Donna had said you do it to the point at which you feel a little bit of a pull, which I feel a pull now. And you just kind of rest in this position for maybe one to two minutes. Just kind of stretch out those shoulders. You can almost feel your shoulders going down, which is good because it's training your shoulders not to be in this up hunch position, but just to let them relax and stretch out those muscles in your shoulder and those ligaments. Woo, that feels really good. Just lie here in the snow angel position. Now this next exercise is also a stretch and you do it with the roller perpendicular. So you just get on the roller like this and put it about mid back. And then you're going to support your head and bend your knees, always bend your knees. And you're just going to kind of hang there on the roller. But again, support your neck with your hands. You don't want to just let your neck go because that can give you problems with your neck. But we're just feeling a little bit of a stretch in that upper and that lower back. And if you want a little massage, you can also just kind of roll this along your back. But again, ooh, that feels good. You can feel each vertebrae there. But again, always support your head with your hands. Okay, this next exercise, we get rid of the bolster. This is the last stretch, and it is similar to the one we just did. And you can really do one or the other. You don't have to do both, but I did want to show you the same stretch on this little ball. It's a Pilates ball is what they call it. Again, about mid back, bend your knees, support your head, and then you're just going to feel that stretch. And I have to say that this ball is extremely comfortable. It's a lot more comfortable than that hard foam roller, but you still do get the same effect of the stretch. And you can also roll up and down on the ball if you want. Whoa, it's a little harder to stay balanced, but that's how that one works. Okay, this next one is the first kind of strength training exercise. We've gotten the stretches out of the way and you don't need the roller for this one, but you just lie down on your belly and then you're going to put your arms back by your side and then you're just going to come up and squeeze your shoulder blades together. One, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, nine, two, three, ten, two, three. And Donna says to do as many as you can, but work up to three sets of ten if you possibly can. One, two, three, two, two, three. 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 6, 2, 3, 7, 2, 3, 8, 2, 3, 9, 2, 3, 10, 2, 3. Woo, that's a workout. And the next exercise is also a strength exercise. And you just stretch out your arms like this. And this is called swimming. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. Again, keep your neck even. Six two three, seven two three, eight two three. You're not supposed to look like a turtle. Keep it even. One two three, two two three, three two three, four two three. I've lost count, but I again do about twenty of those. And I'm going to let Donna show you the next exercise. So you're going to be here like you're holding a giant ball. Now you're going to not keep your shoulders here. <laughs> you're going to okay. drop them down and then you're just going to squeeze your scapulas together. So shoulder blades pinch together. So it's super tiny. So when I do this, you can barely see, all you see is my shoulder blades coming together. Yep. You don't see my arms moving too much. Think of your scapulas like little doors and you're going to close the doors, open the doors close the doors, open the doors. So shoulders are relaxed here, so you have no tension here. And then it's this little squeeze. So this is a really good one to do at your desk if you've been sitting for a long period of time. It gets those muscles activated again. Can you feel that tension back there between the? Yes, yeah. yeah. So super tiny. Now you could add weights to that eventually, but when, they first, when you first start, it's, you just have to get the feeling of the scapulas pulling back. Remember Beth, we opened up here now we're training the ones that are supposed to hold us there. 
to yes. do the work. Okay. okay, here we go on that one. And the neat thing about this is you can do it as part of your morning workout here or your evening workout, but you can also just do it at your desk when you're getting a little tight in your shoulders. It really does feel good. But you just put your arms like this. Reminds me of ballet when I was a kid. But you're just one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Small movement, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, nine, two, three, 10, two, three, 11, two, three, 12, two, three. And again, I do those about 20 times and it just helps you get that feeling where you're standing up tall and your shoulders are back. And really, even though that feeling is not so comfortable if we haven't been doing these exercises, that's really where we need to be. And the last exercise is rowing. And I'll let Donna show it to you. The last one, I think you might've done the rowing with the weights. You know, if I had weights in my hand, yeah. here, and they're just pulling back. Okay, so you're squeezing. Now that little pinch you just did, you're gonna do the same thing. When you pull back, you're gonna squeeze. And so here we go. And again, instead of hunching forward, like you would in a bicep curl, you keep back and you're just kind of bringing the weights back. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three. I'm doing them too fast. Nine, two, three, 10, two, three, 11, two, three. And again, I do 20 of those. Well, that was a look at Donna's seven exercises to perfect posture. And she had a little mnemonic. I think that's the word for it. A, B, C, abs. So keep your abs in your back. A, B, C, abs, back, and chin. Keep your chin up. A, B, C, abs, back, chin. And she says to use those A, B, Cs to remind yourself all throughout the day to hold your tummy in, stand up tall, and keep your shoulders back. Well, thank you for those great exercises, Donna. And again, I have been doing them every morning, well, Monday through Friday, right before my weight workout. And they only take about five, six, seven minutes to do. They're really, really easy, but they are making a difference in my standing up tall and looking a little bit thinner, I think, and warding off that osteoporosis in the future. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel and you're interested in all things you think, as I call it, I hope you'll subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and or share it with a friend. Well, at this point in the video, I always like to give you a little thought for the day, and I don't have my cards with me right now. And I guess my thought for the day comes out of something Donna and I were discussing. And again, I will be doing a video with the full length of the interview with Donna on it. And if you're interested in improving your posture and just good body alignment, that kind of thing, I hope you'll watch that video. And it's also kind of chatty. You get more information about my life and Donna's life, and it's kind of fascinating in that way. But one thing we discussed was that when we're younger, we can abuse our bodies. We can walk around like this. We can eat fast food. I used to love fast food. drive throughs were my favorite friends back then. But as we age, it's very important for us to live a deliberate life, for us to really think about the nutrition, what we're eating, what we're putting into our bodies to fuel our bodies, to think about things like weight training and improving our muscle strength, things like improving our posture, improving our balance, and also getting some cardiovascular fitness. All of those things are important. And in the second half, we can no longer live sloppy. And I guess that's my thought for the day. We really need to think about the type of person we want to be in our second half in terms of our health and overall level of fitness. And we have to make a plan to do those things which help us achieve that very important goal. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.